Hi, I'm Father Andrew Cooley. This is St. Mary's Episcopal Church. Unfortunately, we're not able to gather for Easter worship the way we would like to with all the music and choirs and communion and Easter egg hunts and all the fun stuff that we have for Easter. Um, we have included some links so that you can find worship services that have the, the glorious music and the things that we're used to at Easter. Um, and hopefully soon we will be opening our doors and having worship in place. But I do want to share a message of hope and, and uh, affirmation of our, of our Easter message uh, with you. Uh, a famous bishop has said that the definition of a Christian is that a Christian is someone who takes the death and resurrection of Jesus personally. That it is our story. We somehow see ourselves in the story. It matters to us. Or maybe another way to say that is that through the death and resurrection of Jesus, we realize that God takes us personally. And so, though this has been a, a difficult year, a year with a lot of hardships, uh, some very significant for a lot of people, there's certainly been isolation and challenges that, uh, that, that have been quite hard. But um, the message of Easter, interestingly, comes to us in a graveyard. And so I'm here in the columbarium at St. Mary's to remind us that the good news is that, jo that God comes to us in all of God's resurrecting power to uh, raise up the body of Jesus and to raise us up uh, in the places of our darkness and our struggle, the places of our isolation and challenge, that God comes to you to, to raise you up. And so at the heart of uh, the, the Easter message I think of in John's Gospel, it tells the story of how Mary Magdalene was the first one to come to the tomb and finding it empty. And so she went out and was confused and bewildered. Um, and she saw someone. And it says, assuming him to be the gardener, she asked, what have you done with the body of Jesus? But in that moment, that person that she was spoken to speaks her name and says to her, Mary. And in that moment, she sees that in fact, it's not the gardener, it is in fact, the resurrected Jesus. I want to promise you that God comes to you to speak your name and to give you life and the fullness of, of life and to, to walk with him in the way of, of love. That God speaks your name and, 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 a, and an amazing thing happens. The Celtic saints had an expression. They said that in, in, in Easter that we come to have resurrection eyes. And so my prayer for all of you is that God would give you the resurrection eyes to see Jesus in your midst, to hear Jesus speak your name, to feel the life and the love that God has for you, fill you and renew you and restore you and, and bring you into the fullness that God has for you. And so my, my hope is that soon I will come to know you that I will be able to call you by name and you me by name as we as we meet together as we gather, um, and that uh, and that then we'll be able together to tell the story of of how God has touched us, how we make the death and resurrection of Jesus, and we take that personally, make it our story, but also how we see that life and love in St. Mary's Church, that St. Mary's has a story to tell also about God's love, about God's life, about God's power being at work in all of us. So may God bless you, may God be with you, and may God give you resurrection eyes.